What's up, guys? Welcome back. So, uh, you might be wondering what happened to the house and uh, why there's some cobblestone here now. And I will tell you why in just a second. But first, uh, I just want to mention that uh, 1.15.3 came out. A uh, bit of a patch. Uh, seems like they're wrapping up 1.15, uh, cl uh, cleaning up some of the bugs, fixing some of the major issues. Uh, but one of the most, the more notable things uh, on there was uh, that now when you're firing up the, the pit kilns, you can use peat, you can use charcoal, uh, you can use different fuel sources now and depending on what fuel source you use it'll burn faster so if you use coal it'll only take 10 hours but if you use wood it'll take a full day so uh yeah i'm i'm glad that they made that change so that you can uh you know kind of speed the process up a little bit when you have some better fuel but speaking of pit kilns, so, uh, yeah, I actually burned this place down. Yep, I did. I burned this whole place to the ground. <laughs> burned it all up. But basically, I was cooking up some food, you know, and I was like, oh, I need some more crocs. So I made a, uh, you know, a a pit <laughs> and uh you know i'm fully aware that the the fire spreads from the pits now and uh but it just didn't really register in my brain that the fire was going to spread to the grass and then spread to my house and burn my house down <laughs> so yeah be very careful with the fire now because it is a real threat to your wooden house and uh, really, kind of the worst thing about it was that uh, I lost my, my chests and I saved most of the stuff that was in them. But, uh, like, the stuff that I lost was mostly just wood and some random items, but I wasn't able to save the honeycombs. <laughs> the honeycombs was in one of the chests that burned up. And... Uh, out of all the random stuff that I did save, I didn't grab the honeycombs. So yeah, I kind of feel like it's been one blunder after another for me lately. But, uh, you know, I refused to let that uh, hold me back and get me down. And I rebuilt the house. And everything is fine now. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, uh, but I do want to mention that I did have my bucket when the fire broke out and I was trying to put the fire out with the bucket in the water and it didn't seem to, to be doing anything. So yeah, feels bad, <laughs> kind of sucked, but you know, and, and, uh, in all reality, it didn't really take me that long to rebuild it because I already knew exactly, you know, what I was building. And uh, so, yeah, it wasn't that big of a setback, all things considered. <laughs> but anyway, uh, in the meantime, uh, as you can see, it's already November and it's going to be like snowing soon. But I've been I have been hunting and gathering food and stuff and I'll show you pretty soon what I have in my cellar but I think I, I think we're gonna be fine for the winter um, I'm not as stocked as I would like to be but but yeah but anyway the first thing I kind of want to do here is I want to finish up that the bottom floor and I kind of want to use a little bit of granite so I want to just kind of excavate some of these ruins. I'm going to take all the granite stuff because I'm going to be using these stairs 
Uh, and I'm going to be using, you know, all these blocks, the slabs and all that. And, uh, you know, might as well, might be able to find a chamber. And find a better bed. Uh, look, and there's a vessel. Farming vessel. So, yeah, I got, I got all the backpacks now. Feels good. Feels good to have inventory. Okay, we got a bunch of reeds. That's pretty cool, I guess. I'm just gonna excavate all this granite. But yeah, house burning, man pretty uh pretty disheartening you know thankfully i you know i didn't have my my stuff moved in there cuz uh that could have been pretty catastrophic and i don't think that i really want to be building a big wooden mansion or anything like that as long as uh the fire spread thing is on um because knowing me, I'll burn the whole place down. <laughs> and uh, I've already read some stuff about people going onto their servers and burning their all their chests and stuff. So be super careful with the uh, fire now when you're lighting up the, the pit kilns. Be very careful. I'm going to be super paranoid now. And uh, that's why I put cobble as like the foundation of the house because I don't know how how many blocks the fire can spread over but I figure if if that did happen again we might have a better chance of our house not burning uh, if the base of it is actually made of something that's not flammable so yeah yeah do keep that in mind Yeah, it's pretty funny actually now, uh, but at the time it wasn't very funny. <laughs> kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. It kind of sucked. But like I said, just a minor setback. I'm not worried about starving this winter. Knock on wood, because I feel like I have... A decent amount of food saved up and uh, I'm still able to get a little bit more food uh, you know you could still hunt the animals just don't give you very much in the winter because their weight and uh, I am gonna corral some sheep there's like a lot of sheep over there I'm gonna do that very soon So yeah, I got a little bit of granite here. Now, what I'm use what I decided to use for the floor instead of maple was a uh, walnut. So I need a little bit more walnut. And I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit scratchy. I was running in the park and it seems a uh, my throat is a little bit scratchy, so uh, excuse me for that. But anyway, well, is there another walnut tree here? Because we had a couple big ones. All right, well, here's a smaller one. So yeah, we're just going to gather a bit of this and then do the floor. And then I'm going to start moving some of uh, my stuff in the house and we'll start put some shelves in and actually uh start moving into our house because that's been the plan this whole time obviously and uh until i burn the place down <laughs> uh but anyway uh 
kind of wish I had my ladders. I'll just make some more because I have a bunch of sticks now. I can just do this. Yeah, you can kind of, you can space these out and still go up them. If you didn't know, kind of save yourself some ladders in a pinch. Just want to get all these leaves. Um, okay, I thought that was a wolf, but those are sheep. Get some more walnut. It's getting kind of dark, so let's let's just see what we can do with that. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the the cobble. I don't really like the abrupt transition right there, but I think I'm gonna wrap like logs or something around the house on that like the inside and the outside. To sort of break up that transition. But yeah. If I'm going to have my chest down here. I don't want this wall that they're going to be next to. Catching on fire. Like ever. Because <laughs> yeah. That would be bad. So yeah, this is kind of how I want to do the bottom floor. I kind of want to do two, I think two blocks around, and then the center of that will be more of this walnut. Because yeah, look at that walnut. That stuff looks good. I like it. And this is where our cellar is going to be. And, uh... I'm going to put a staircase in, like right here, so the cellar's kind of going to be under the staircase. So like that, and then uh, I need to get my saw, take some of that walnut. Yeah, this is what it's looking like. Yeah, I put walnut logs here too, because I, I like the way the walnut looks, like I said. Uh, saw, that is what I want. Let's make some more of those. May have made too many, I'm not sure, but we will see. Okay, I'm going to be a couple shy, actually. Oops, I need nine, not six. Focus. <laughs> All 
All right. So yeah. That's how I want that. I think I'm happy with that. But yeah, I'm going to put in a fireplace. Maybe here. Like here. And I'll figure that out shortly. But for now, uh, let's just kind of, so if I put the fireplace here, I think I'll put this stuff over here. Could always move this stuff later. I think my the table that I had that I brought over burnt up. <laughs> so I'll make another table. And I think I brought some shelves. couple of them at least. I could always make more, but I had a few. Uh, yep, those spoiled. Yeah, look at that. Fireflies. How cool is that? That's some fireflies over there. I know it's very dark. So, you know, let's just, uh, yeah, I don't want to put anything over the, that, because kind of makes more sense to not have something over that, but we'll do that. That's where we'll make our pie. This will probably be our little food area. Could probably do sort of like a counter. I need to get some more boards, planks, or no boards, <laughs> boards. Yes. Uh, let's actually just make all those. Yeah, we'll kind of set this up a little bit, and I need to get some more granite or whatever I decide to build my uh, fireplace out of, and that'll be like my next thing, and I kind of want to build it big enough to have at least three fires. I'm not sure how much uh, room I'm going to have, but... Yeah, I need to have more fires. But not the not the house fire kind of fires. It's the fire pit kind of fires where I cook my food safely. Those kind of fires. <laughs> but anyway, we'll just do that for now. We got a little bit of food. So yeah, I think this place is going to be pretty cool. And oh yeah, since we can't do windows, I kind of want to... I need more boards. I want to do... Maybe just like some shutters with some trap doors if I can. Getting hungry. Just eat some of this. And 
So, where do we want our windows? Like, I'm probably going to do two, but I don't want the drifters to get in right now. I kind of want to put these on the outside. Can I? Can I do this and then just break this? Yeah. I think that's how I'm gonna do my windows for now. Get away, drifter. Can I place this one like that? Alright, wait, no, 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 that's not how I wanted it. <laughs> Is that... I don't think I'm gonna be able to place it, uh any other way so kind of won't make sense when you open it but hey that's all right that's all right for now it's just temporary oops yeah i want to do this mr drifter stop <laughs> the drifters man Alright, I mean, glass is much better, but like I said, it's temporary. We'll see how that looks on the outside. I might end up uh, making this like a 4x4 four four when I get some glass. But... Let's just... Uh, make... Couple more of those. Yeah, let's actually do. Maybe, maybe I'll like center this stuff in between the two windows. Yeah, one, two, three. This is where I want my. This is where I'm gonna want my window. It feels it feels off for some reason, but uh, it's probably just because of, the, of these. But let's kind of like center this. Just kind of messing around, uh, trying to figure out how I want my house to look down here while it's dark. And uh, this is kind of the fun part, as Laying your house out, moving all your stuff in. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think that's all right. I'm gonna put some vessels. Uh, I'll be making some more vessels too, but we're gonna be very careful when we do that. And I'm gonna be building a fully contained pit kiln area. <laughs> made of completely non-flammable blocks f uh, far away from my house <laughs> because 
Yeah, I'm pretty paranoid now, and let me tell you, when my chests were burning up, I was having some, uh, some Don't Starve flashbacks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I felt kind of bad, man. But, <laughs> anyway, I need to get... I need to get a few more things together. I need to go get some more of my stuff from the hut. Because we're moving in. And uh, I'm going to brighten this place up with some more torches so we can actually see what we're doing. And uh, I'll be back. Alright guys, uh, I'm back over here at the hut. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, what the food situation over here is looking like. So... Got quite a bit of spelt grain and rye here, and if there's a few veggies and stuff in there. Uh, although let's go down in the cellar, and yeah, it's it's snowing over here. <laughs> yep, no more berries because it's snowing. <laughs> but anyway, let's go down here. Yeah, this is what I got. Most of these, pretty much all of them, are really good meals. As you can see, most of it's red meat stew with veggies and fruits. I got more grain in here. So yeah, I got, I got an okay supply of food. I, like I said, I think we're going to be alright for the winter. But I'm going to continue gathering my stuff up here at the hut. And I'll see you guys back at the house. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about our piggy friend. <laughs> so, uh, one person commented to name the piggy friend. And it's been a while, so... Our piggy friend is officially named Oink Oink. <laughs> so yeah, poor, poor Oink Oink here has been getting, uh been getting neglected and uh, it's all dark and snowy here and you know that's no way to treat our friends right so we're, we're at least gonna give oink oink something to eat and a little bit of light <laughs> for the time being <laughs> yeah so yeah, it's morning time and I'm here at the house and there's a whole bunch of drifters making all kinds of noise. Can you guys go away please? It's morning time. You guys just like go that way please? You are making too much noise. We're just going to kill this small army of drifters so they're not making all kinds of noise forever and ever. <laughs> all those dead drifters. Alright, we're actually going to skin those guys. Man, there's more of you out here than I thought there was. Yeah, and I'm starving too, that's alright. Because I got some breakfast going in here. So. All right. <laughs> Let's skin some of these guys real quick. See if we can get a temporal gear on camera, maybe. Yeah, I still have mine, and we're about to use it, actually. Alright. 
piece of flax. So yeah, before I forget, I'm gonna use the gear. And uh, yeah, so the world spawn is like pretty close to us. Um, it's actually like right here in this pond. But you know we don't want to we don't want to spawn in a pond, right? When we die and then uh, you know it's all dark and whatever. We want to we want to come back in our house where we have some tools and some things. So we can prepare ourselves to go get our, our, our stuff back, you know, if that does happen. So I'm just going to use the gear, like right here, and this is going to be, this is going to be our spawn point. Right here. And so yeah, if we die, we'll come back here to the house. <laughs> So yeah, I built this little temporary uh, fireplace, but uh, we're just going to continue here laying, laying stuff out. So uh, I think I want to put my anvil right there. And the forge right there. Uh, I think I'm going to put the forge here. Yeah, and I'll put I'll put a table there. So most of these shelves are for the cellar down there, but we can put a couple more. We just want to do shelves all the way. I think that's all right. Yeah, I'm kind of digging the cellar out. It's gonna be a seven by seven. I got a little bit of our food down here. Um, I just need to dig this little bit out. I moved some of our food, most of our food over here, uh, other than the, the crocs. So yeah, most of these are for down here. We'll continue with those. And, uh, let's put one right there. We can put some, like, ingots or, uh, we could put the crucible up there. Speaking of which, pretty sure I brought it. Let's just see what else is in here real quick. Yeah. Yeah, I got some of this leather, and uh, I'm going to make some armor with that. I'm going to make the, the jerkin, and then probably the, the like copper armor. But, uh, yeah, so we can put that there. This will be our little uh, smelting area, I think, for now. And yeah, we are really low on charcoal. We only have like two pieces, so I need to make some more of that. But uh, now we want to put some more tool racks. If I can properly do this. Okay, six will be plenty. Uh, let's see where we want to hang up our tools. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we had a light temporal storm earlier, and this is what that looked like. What a lovely day out. I guess like that and uh, that could actually go there so 
We could hang our uh, hammers and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's kind of the fun part for me. Uh, you know, sort of decorating the house, putting the shelves in and stuff. But we got a lot more to do to this place in terms of decoration. But, you know, I kind of want to see, since I have these maple logs real quick, I kind of want to see how this looks. If I like wrap these around. All right, that's kind of cool. I think I'd, I think I'd probably rather have the uh, walnut logs though. If I'm being honest. But yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll wrap the I'll wrap walnut logs around here and pretty soon I'll make a chisel. And I'll probably chisel the <laughs> chisel the edges a little bit. And that'll kind of break this up. And we might uh wrap some logs around to here too or something. We'll continue to accent this place and put in windows and uh, chisel stuff and add stuff as time goes on uh, but let's just uh, hang some of our tools up don't have too many to hang for now but yeah that's where we're gonna put all our tools And, uh, yeah, uh, I made a couple of chests, as you can see. I might end up moving this one. Yeah, I got some more copper because I'm going to continue to make some uh, copper ingots and stuff for my armor and more tools. Because we have plenty of copper. We might not have uh, much other metals, but we do have plenty of copper. So... So yeah, and I'm going to continue with the leather, and then we're going to corral some animals and stuff. But uh, I'm going to call this one here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. <laughs>